Simple vector math and vector properties can be extremely useful when dealing with positions in your workspace. Today, we'll be using two of those vector properties to find the distance between positions. First, we'll go over the math and explanation behind this topic, and then we'll jump into Roblox Studio and recreate this script that lets a player know how far away he or she is from two parts in the workspace. Let's get started. The first property that I'm going to discuss concerning vectors is the magnitude property. Now let us imagine that this graph that I have right here is the graph of my workspace. And we'll pretend that the center is indicated as 0, 0, and the axes that you see here are x and z. We'll pretend the camera is on the y-axis looking straight down in a bird's eye view, helicopter view type fashion. Now let us also imagine that we've constructed two vector objects using the vector3.new constructor and I've labeled them vector and vector2 and given them parameters for each for their coordinates. Uh, we can go ahead and draw both of these on our graph like so. And I've gone ahead and disregarded the y-axis on both of them and just draw the x and z uh, like so. And as you can see the vectors are plotted on our graph. This is where the magnitude property of vectors come in. The magnitude is defined as the length of the vector, or otherwise known as the distance between the center of the workspace, or the graph, and the endpoint it points to. As a result, it is really easy to find the distance of each of these endpoints and the center. All we have to do is just vector.magnitude for the first one, and vector2.magnitude for the second one and we'll find those two distances that we have labeled here. But what if we wanted to find the distance between both of the points, not regarding the center? Here I've dashed a line pointing from 4, 3 to 8, negative 5, and I want to know what is the distance between these two points. To find this distance, we first need to find the difference between these two vectors. Like with numbers, the difference between two numbers are the subtraction between the two. So we'll go ahead and do vector subtract vector 2 and this will result in a new vector with its x coordinate at the first x minus the second x, a y coordinate at the y minus the second y, and a z coordinate at this first z minus the second z. This will result in 4 minus 8, 0 minus 0, 3 minus negative 5 in our example. I'll disregard the y-axis once again, and we'll end up with a new point at negative 4, 8. So I'll go ahead and plot this new vector, and I'll go ahead and label its length as open parentheses vector minus vector 2 close parentheses dot magnitude. Now you'll notice that this magnitude, or this length, is very similar to the length of the dashed line where we wanted to find the distance between the original two positions. It turns out that this is actually indeed the exact same length and this works because our new vector is the difference of vectors. So we can say that in order to find the distance between two positions we take the magnitude of the difference of its vectors. We'll be using this to find the difference between positions in our Roblox game. Now I'm going to use what we learned before to recreate what we saw in the beginning of the video. Uh, right now I have two parts in my workspace. I have one called blue part and one called red part. I have a screen GUI and the starter GUI with a frame that has two text labels, blue part distance and red part distance. I also have a local script that I'm going to delete and I'm going to go ahead and make a new one. I'm going to call this distance from parts. Alright, starting off the script, um, since this is a local script, and I know that I'm going to be using the player somewhere in the script, I'm going to go ahead and get the player, and I'll go ahead and do game.players, I'm sorry, local player equals game.players.localplayer. I also know that I'm going to be using the run service, because I want to run a function every single frame, so I'm going to go ahead and get that, get that service, get run service local run service equals game get service run service all right I know I'm going to be using my two parts in the workspace so I'm going to go ahead and get those two parts 
local red part equals workspace dot red part local blue part equals workspace dot blue part. Next, I know I'm going to be using the frame of my GUI and the two text labels inside of it. So I'll go ahead and do get the two text labels local uh, red label equals script dot parent dot frame dot red part distance local blue label equals script dot parent dot frame dot blue part distance and I think that's all we need now it's time to make the uh, function run on the run service render stepped so I'll go ahead and do run run service dot render stepped event the render stepped event runs every single frame so this function that's connected to it will run every single frame oh, let me go ahead and fix that okay next I'm gonna go ahead and do um, grab the red label and I want to edit its text so I'm gonna do red label that text equals some sort of string so I, I know right off the bat I'm gonna be using some quotation marks um, the first thing I'm gonna do is put red part is blank concatenate it with uh, some sort of number then concatenate that with studs away so right off the bat this is going to say red part is zero studs away and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the blue label blue label that text equals blue part is zero studs away now I'm going to go ahead and replace this number with the distance between the red part and the player's head. So let's go ahead and do what we learned before. We know we're going to have to have some sort of subtraction between two vectors. So we already know it's going to look something like this. Right? So right now we need to get a position and the other position and we'll get the difference and then we'll get the magnitude of that difference. So let's go ahead and do, uh, we'll take the red parts um, position first. So red part dot position minus player dot character dot head dot position. Now positions themselves are vector three so subtracting two positions is no different than subtracting two vector three um, objects. All right, now we'll do the same thing here. Remember, we're going to be subtracting two vectors and getting the magnitude of that. And we'll just do the same thing we did. Blue part dot position minus player dot character dot head dot position. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and run this and let's see what happens. All right, as you can see, um, as I get closer to red part, this number is decreasing. And as I get farther away from blue part, it increases and vice versa. That's exactly how it should work. Um, one problem you may notice is that there is a really obnoxious looking decimal. So to remove that, we're going to go ahead and use the math.floor um, function which is a function of the math library so we're gonna get the math library by doing math and then we'll use the floor function by doing dot floor and then we'll uh, put what we had before this whole magnitude thing as a parameter to math dot floor to do that we just put another set of parentheses so, so we should have math dot floor difference of vectors magnitude the math of floor function takes whatever number you give to it and just rounds it down to the nearest integer, to the nearest integer below. 
If you wanted to go up one, you would use ceiling or seal. And we'll go ahead and do the same for this. Math up floor, open parentheses, close parentheses. And now this will round down to the nearest integer for both of them. And it'll give us a nice clean number. And there we have our finished product that you saw at the beginning of the video. I hope this video has proved to be useful to you. And I hope that you learned something new, whether it be about magnitude or vector objects or the math library. If you guys want to let me know what you want to see in the future, be sure to leave a comment in the comments section or you can join my Discord and I can talk directly to you guys. As always, subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next video.